Hello and welcome to Encryption, the tech tips and tutorials. In this video, we will learn how to install the Nessus scanner on Ubuntu and perform a scan of a website for the most known vulnerabilities. Let's get started. Open your favorite browser and download the Nessus scanner trial version. Although it is a trial version, it gives you its full power and features till the trial period which is 7 days. You will need to fill up a form to sign up to download the free version of the software. Then uh, you will be given a link to download it. After the Nessus installer file is downloaded, switch your current directory and check for the file. Since we are using the Debian based Linux, the Nessus scanner installation file is .deb. Now to install it, run the command sudo space dpkg space hyphen i type some initials of the installation file name hit the tab key it will auto complete the file name and then hit the enter key after the installation is complete you will need to start the nessus d dot service copy the given command to start the service and paste it here enter your login password if you are prompted for it then you may check the status of the nessus d service and make sure that it's loaded active and running next to access the nessus interface in your browser copy the given link from your terminal go to the browser and then paste the link here you can ignore the security warning and click on the proceed to link Initial user interface of the Nessus will open. Click on the continue button. Select the start a trial of Nessus export and click on the continue button again. Now here you should enter the email address which you used to sign up to Nessus just before downloading the package and click on the continue button. If you click on the drop down box, you will see only one option. So no need to do anything here. So continue. Finally, the trial license information will be displayed. You can copy and save it somewhere on your computer and then click on the continue button. The setup of uh, the Nessus scanner is done. Next, you will have to install the Nessus plugins. So for this, log in to the Nessus scanner and wait for a few minutes till the Nessus plugins are downloaded and installed. After the plugins are installed, you will be redirected to a Nessus dashboard. Still, you will need to uh, wait for a few minutes till the plugins are fully compiled. Okay, the compilation seems to have been completed. Now, to run a new scan against a target, go to the scans section or the my scans section and click on the create a new scan. There are several templates for different kinds of scan uh, from very basic scan to advanced dynamic scans and others. But for this video demo, I'm going to run a web application test scan. Then fill in the necessary data such as the scan name, description, folder and target. You can either set the domain name or the IP address or a specific URL as the target. You can schedule the scan and get notified after the scan is completed or the progress of the scan. If you click on the discovery section, you can select the type of scan from the drop down menu and select what type of post or port discovery you want to perform. Likewise, you can select the type of assessment or scan you want to perform under the assessment section. In the same way, you can customize your scan type and save it as a template. Finally, you will have to launch the scan and wait for some time. It takes quite a bit of time to complete the scan depending upon the size of the target and the scope of the target. Okay, after some hours checking the report, I can see the scanner detected some vulnerabilities out of which 7 with the medium impact and 3 with low vulnerabilities. To read about the vulnerability, its impact and how to solve this, you can click on the vulnerability. Okay friends, this is how we can install the Nessus tool on Linux and run a basic scan. I hope the video was useful to you. Please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching. See you on other videos. Till then, have a nice time. Goodbye.